I think you're right, Brink. The stone projection isn't natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander. Look at this, Brink. This can't be natural. Definitely not. A metal plate. Definitely an artifact. An artifact? But who could have put something like this in a tunnel? Yes, yes, I think it's clear. Wherever Attila came from, there was someone there. Could this be part of some kind of message? Like the one NASA put in Voyager? If it's a message, I don't understand it. Whatever it is, we've got to tell Houston immediately. Negative, Robbins. I'm clamping down total security as of this moment. You've got to be kidding. You've been telling me all along you just want to be an ordinary member of the mission. I've had secret orders all along to look for any sign of alien presence on this rock. And now that we've found it, my instructions are clear. What I want to hear from both of you right now is I understand, Commander Lowe. I understand and agree, Commander Lowe. There is nothing to be gained from a premature announcement. Robin? I understand, Commander Lowe. Ken! Ken, low here. I read you, boss. Tell Houston that I said Attila's a real hunt. What? Is that some kind of joke? Just tell them, Ward. You'll receive new communication protocols immediately afterward. Oh, cool. This is like a secret code. Just thank Cora. You're the only one in Congress who knows anything about this. Houston says the message is received and they're transmitting new codes. We're getting back to work down here, Ken. Low out. I'm giving this baby a little push. If that doesn't work, Commander, give it a big push. The plate just dropped down inside something. The plate is gone? It's a small, dark opening. I'm going to push another one. I wish we could be sure we weren't destroying whatever message they meant us to receive. It seems to me that if they didn't mean us to push these metal plates, we wouldn't be able to push them. It's another metal plate. I wish there were some sort of inscription. Here's number three. Disappeared too. We're three for three here, folks. I've heard of putting a message in a bottle, but never in a big rock. Here's the last one. Done it, whatever it is we did. Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. Asteroid is hollow. Time to update Houston. Load a shuttle. Static. Must be all this rock. We're cut off. Should we go back outside and call them? Nah, they can sit tight for a few more minutes while we poke around. Robbins, this is low. Do you read? Robbins here. What is it? Do you see anything significant? That pentagon shape on the far wall. I think it's raised up from the surrounding surface. Like a pedestal. A pedestal, but there's nothing standing on it. Unless we do. Low out.
shallow indentation set into the raised platform. Someone turned me inside out twice. It's a little difficult to move now. That's because we've got gravity. Planet-type gravity. We're not inside the asteroid anymore. And the pressure is equalized. There's an atmosphere. Can we breathe it? Our suits are checking that automatically. Here we are. Yes, it's at least as breathable as the air in L.A. Of course, there's always the danger of airborne infectious agents. I don't think so. Alien microbes should be no threat to us. They have not evolved to make use of our cell structures. The oxygen in our suits won't last long anyway. I say we take them off and save the remaining oxygen for the return trip. If there is a return trip. Yeah, taste good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship, faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit, over. Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. We might be here a while. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water, or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Fantastic! Look! 
more proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone or anything alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful or gone. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Brink. How are you doing, Brink? You mean apart from being trapped on an alien planet with no idea of how to get back? Thanks. We might need this wire later. I'm going to see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh, yeah. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. Look at it. It's beautiful. Changing shapes, mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? It's a rod. Engraved. Five geometric shapes. It still might be useful. Not just plants, but creatures, too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Markers. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. What? Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know what an alien bone will prove useful.
This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. Do you think we could climb this slope? No use. It doesn't go up all the way to the top. The engravings on this wall, are they writing or decoration? You're asking us? It seems to be pointing at this mound. With that device pointing at this mound, I suspect there might be something buried here. How scientific of you, Commander. Another random hole bulldozed by our fearless leader. Maybe not. I thought I saw something shining. An artifact. It looks like a bracelet. 